So some of you might know that back in 2023, Apple applied for a patent on a future version of AirPods with a built-in screen. And it's been reported before that the next-gen AirPods Pro 3 will indeed have a brand new design, which means that we could possibly see a built-in screen on the next-gen AirPods Pro. So based on this, we've designed our very own concept showcasing different use cases, which we've showed you in our video from November. And surprisingly, manufacturers from China have actually turned this into a reality. And for the past week, I've literally been using the quote-unquote AirPods Pro 3 early. So here's my actual experience with trying out such a concept. Also, today we are launching Aquatic Adventures by Atif, our second new wallpaper pack for April. And what I really love about Aquatic Adventures is that it perfectly illustrates the beauty and also the darkness of the deep ocean. We've got 10 unique designs all in 8K, which you can use on your phone, tablets, as well as on your desktop. And you can find Aquatic Adventures in our Apple wallpapers for iOS and Android. Okay, first of all, I have to say, even the box does look very Apple-like, both the front and the back. Even the ear tips look very similar to the original ones that Apple gives you. Same goes for the manual, which although it does have an image of the AirPods Pro with a screen, it doesn't really explain what the use cases are. So what are they? What does the screen actually do? Well, you've got a couple of panels that you can swipe between. The first panel shows you the battery level on both AirPods, as well as the battery level on your case and also lets you control your music. The second panel gives you the settings from where you can control the brightness of the screen, the language, as well as the volume. The third panel is where you can switch between audio modes such as active noise cancelling, adaptive mode, and transparency. Then you've got your equalizer panel, which is actually pretty great as it lets you quickly switch between your EQ modes. Then the find my panel, which lets you find your individual AirPods. Then you've got the wallpaper panel that lets you change between a number of preloaded wallpapers, some that are animated too. And lastly, we've got the flash panel which works as you'd expect. But okay, what's my actual experience using AirPods Pro with a built-in screen? Well, I'm not going to focus on the predictably unimpressive sound quality or the considerable amount of glitches when using the UI, given that these are not made by Apple. I'm simply going to be focusing on the feel and usability of having AirPods with a built-in display. And here, my experience was kind of like I thought, only uh, even worse. Let me explain. So I think the idea of AirPods with a built-in screen is pretty cool on paper, but in reality, it's kind of pointless. Like I get it, I can control my music from the case, but I always found it so much faster just using the controls on the AirPods themselves to do that. Or just use my Apple Watch instead, or even my iPhone. Of course, the laggy UI doesn't really help with this, but I don't know, usually when I'm listening to music, I don't have my AirPods case near me. I keep that in my bag most of the times. And when I do have it on my desk, I still find myself reaching for my iPhone if I want to pick a different song to play. And that's because the case itself is pretty wobbly. Plus, you also need to open up the lid to actually see and use the controls. Which means that I always have to pick it up to actually use it, and that is just way slower than just tapping on my iPhone screen that is already sitting at my desk. Now, there were some features that I did truly find useful on the case. For example, having the EQ right on the case itself and easily adjustable from there, that was actually awesome because normally you'd have to go into the iPhone settings, then music, then EQ, and only then you can actually adjust the EQ. So this was just so much faster. And I also enjoyed the ability to quickly find my individual AirPods, something that takes way longer to do on the iPhone, as you'd have to open up Find My, then scroll until you can find your AirPods, and only then you can actually locate your individuals. And I've also enjoyed being able to easily see the battery levels of both my AirPods and the case in the same place, without a need of having that dedicated battery widget on my iPhone's home screen. But yeah, aside from these three things, which were indeed faster to do on the case, everything else, like adjusting the volume, skipping to the next song, everything was faster to do either on the AirPods themselves or on my Apple Watch or on my iPhone. So should Apple actually release such AirPods? Or is having a screen on the case simply a gimmick? Well, I think it fully depends on what sort of functionality Apple gives to the screen. When we made our concept, we envisioned a couple of extra use cases. For example, one of the screen panels was showing your recently played songs or albums, which you could then replay quickly from there. Another panel gave you quick access to your playlists, while another gave you access to your top podcasts. And to be honest, if Apple did have this functionality built in, I would definitely see myself using the AirPods screen more. Seeing your top podcast or playlist on the iPhone or Apple Watch takes far longer. 
as you first have to navigate your music or podcast app, and only then you can actually see them. We also had some other extra functionality in our concept. For example, a visual indicator for when the case was charging, as well as more advanced Find My features that allowed you to see your Apple Watch and your iPhone accurately thanks to the Ultrawide Band chip inside. Now, there are a couple of other features which we did not have in our concept, but I do think it would be quite useful to have on something like this. For example, built-in storage would be awesome, as then we would be able to store full albums straight on the case itself. So if you go running and you don't have an Apple Watch, you could simply just take your AirPods and this case with you. Kind of like an iPod in a way, just wireless. I still think that an Apple Watch is better for cases like that. After all, when you go running, even having your keys can be quite uncomfortable. Imagine having both your keys and this in your pocket. Although I can imagine third-party manufacturers coming up with those arm bands like we used to have with the iPods. And I also think that it would be great if Apple would allow developers to implement their own third-party tiles. In this case, we could have one for Spotify or YouTube Music or anything really. That would definitely come in handy as it would for sure be faster than having to open up those individual apps. So what it really comes down to in the end is as long as Apple can make the screen be faster to use than using your iPhone or Apple Watch, then it's actually a pretty good idea. If it's simply a replica of the same things that you can already do with the AirPods alone or on the iPhone, then it is definitely going to be a gimmick. Now, the release date for these new AirPods Pros is set to be in 2025. So we're not getting an update this year. This year, we're getting three new AirPods models, the new AirPods Max, the new AirPods 4s, as well as the new AirPods Lite. Now, aside from the new design of the AirPods Pro 3s, there is also said to be a new chip inside, more than likely the H3. So we could see even further improvements to active noise cancelling and transparency. But what I'm really looking forward to see personally would be the new health features. And the one that's been rumored for years now is the new body temperature sensor. Of course, this would make it even more accurate than a wrist-based temperature sensor like we have on the Apple Watch, as it would be inside your ears. Plus, you've also got two of them, which means that you can average out the results and get an even more accurate reading. Currently, the Apple Watch cannot tell you if you have a fever or even your actual temperature. The only thing that it can tell you is how your temperature differs from your baseline. However, that may change once these new AirPods get released, if they do indeed have a temperature sensor. So I guess all of this sounds pretty great. New chip, new design, better sound quality, temperature sensors, and possibly a display too. But my only concern here is the price. The current AirPods Pros are already quite expensive at $250. So if Apple adds a built-in display, I can easily see the price going up to at least $300, if not even $330 or so, which already takes you into the Apple Watch territory. At that point, I think most people would simply consider getting an Apple Watch SE instead for $250, and then either the base AirPods for $130 or some other third-party option, which in the end will give you far more functionality than just the AirPods Pro with a screen alone. But yeah, I would definitely love to hear your thoughts on something like this. Would you actually find a use for having a screen on your AirPods? Let me know down below. I'm Daniel, this is Zenof Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zenof Tech, signing out. Cheers.